Mix 96 FM, 13 minutes after 9 o'clock on the morning crew. Good morning. And if you're joining us live on, live on Facebook Live, good morning as well. Joining me in the studio this morning is Michelle Baxter from the Jackson County Fair Board. Good morning. How are you? Morning. Good. So you guys are geared up for a big week coming up next week. Well, Ready? actually, even this week, I guess, because it's everything gets underway on Thursday. Yep. We'll start Thursday evening at 7 o'clock with the uh, harness racing. Friday evening at 7 o'clock with the harness racing. Um, Saturday, we'll go into the baby contest at 10 a.m. Um, 7 o'clock, no. 6 o'clock. 6, six yep, for yep. the Tallahassee Freight yep, yep, and yep. then uh, Kentucky Headhunters. Yeah, so of course, everybody's been talking about the Kentucky Headhunters 30 years, well, 31 years ago. Uh, it was uh, Jackson County history, especially if you were driving from what I, now I was not here at the time, from what I've been told. It was quite, quite the experience. Oh, I remember it. I was there. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, yeah, the Kentucky Headhunters had just had just made it big with uh, with their hit Dumas Walker and other songs, and we're we're charting big on country music radio, and Jackson County got them, and yes. they came and did a show, and uh, I think we read the story we ran yesterday said over ten thousand people at the Jackson County Fairgrounds. So, well, we hope for that. Hoping for that. So <laughs> yes, yeah, so and you got and you guys have made some extra preparations, all that kind of stuff, and you're expecting a good crowd. It's ten dollars at the, at the $10. gate. Ten dollars that, day, that so. gets you into everything. There is no rides on right. Saturday. Yeah, so no rides. There is some vendors, not a whole lot, but um, again, no rides. We've had a lot of people ask about that. Um, the rides will not be open until Monday at five o'clock. Okay. Um, it's open seating. Bring your own lawn chair. And have a good time. Yeah, it's gonna, and it will be a great show. So if you get the chance Saturday night, that'll be uh, kind of the the pre fair fair. It's 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 kind of unoff- it's it is part of the fair, but it's kind of unofficially you know the the kickoff of things. And then of course Sunday coming in will be the the official crowning and opening, grand opening, and gospel night. Uh, tell us about some of the things that are coming up throughout the week. So on gospel night, we're real excited because we haven't had gospel in a very long time. So we'll have a full day starting at eleven thirty with the Promised Land Church Roger Park starting off with a small service, and then we'll go into the worship teams, and then we will have the crowning, and then go back into some more worship, and then you know finish off the evening with the service. Also, um, Monday we will go into of course the shows down at the barns, and then we will also have um, the Cincinnati Circus at. 3.30, 5.30, and 9, and at 9 o'clock, it will be a fire show. Awesome. So. Now, are they going to be, are they doing free roaming around the fairgrounds, or are they just going to be in the grandstand, or what, where will Cincinnati Circus be set up? They'll at? be right in the grandstand okay. area. Awesome, awesome. Yep. And if you've never seen Cincinnati Circus, they've been at the Vinton County Fair a couple of times, and they're a lot of fun. I mean, they, they just, they put on a great show and, and do a lot of a lot of cool things for people, and so so several shows on, on uh, Monday, and then uh, Tuesday, what do we have coming up on Tuesday? Tuesday is the rodeo. Rodeo, okay. And then Wednesday is Jess Kelly Adams, which I believe she stopped by here. Yeah, last she was week here last week, yet. and she's hoping. To, she said she, she's already messaged and said she wanted to come back. Hopefully, maybe next week during the fair. So we're hoping to get her back on again. So and yeah, opening she came in, for so. her will be Preston Daly, a local okay. talent out of Londonderry. Awesome. Um, then Thursday we go into. Truck and tractor pulls. Truck and tractor pulls. Yep. You know it better than I do. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think off the history. I'm trying to think about what I've looked at already and what's coming. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. OMTPA, yep. truck and tractor pulls. And then Friday will be the motocross. Yep. And then, of course, Saturday will be the demolition derby. The big demolition derby. So awesome. So a lot of fun, a lot of activities. And what are the what are the costs to get in this year? So on Thursday and Friday, it's $5. Okay. On Saturday, it's $10. Sunday, $5. Then the rest of the week, $10 also. And that, and that gets includes you for everything. everything. So including your, including your rides when the rides yes. do open. So, yep. uh, but again, we do want to remind you, the rides will not be there Saturday for the Kentucky Headhunters concert. They will not open up until Monday. At 5 p.m. And, pending inspection. Once uh, everything yeah. is... Inspected yep. and ready to roll. And of course, they have, you know, each day has kind of a theme and different events, that type of stuff. But the real thing I like to highlight is, you know, this is really as much fun as it is. And, and it's, it'll be nice to be back to a full size fair this year. Yes. Uh, the best part about it is, is it's really about supporting these kids that have worked all year long. I know my oldest daughter has, has taken a couple of dairy goats this year and, and my kids are just starting to get into 4-H. And I remember being in 4-H years ago, but 4-H and FFA and uh, scouting and all that kind of stuff really is kind of the core and the heart of what the fair is all about. So, uh, so pretty excited to see what's going on. Thank you guys for all of your hard work. Thank you guys. Uh, Thanks and, to all of our sponsors and all the stuff that uh, you guys put. Who are some of the sponsors this year? Go ahead and give them a shout. So I got General shout-out. Mills. So. Um, they are doing our um, stage area. We got Belicio that is doing our grandstand, which is newly remodeled. Awesome. And I don't know if anyone, if you've been up there, haven't seen it, check out our pictures on Facebook. It's got new paint, um, new concrete. It, it looks amazing. 
We've got Iron City Pipe. We've got the radio. We've got, you know, I could go on and yeah, on. Yeah, you don't have to remember them all. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah so, but... so we've got our books out. If you need a book, stop by, grab some. They'll be in the Fairboard office. They are selling season passes currently at the Fairboard office tonight yeah. at 515. Awesome. So if you need a pass, stop on up. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in this morning. I think you're heading Thank upstairs you. next, and uh, we'll be out and about with the radio next week all week and hanging out. And, uh, and again, people, j- get out, support the, the Jackson County Fair, uh, the, the kids and uh, all the, you know, their parents and all the people, the 4-H groups and the different organizations that put this on every year. Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to experience the life at, here in the county and, and uh, celebrate uh, you know, a lot of great things. And uh, looking forward to an awesome week. So thanks for Thank having us. Thanks for looking stopping by this morning. You guys. So. Thank all right, you. sounds good. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks. That's our friend Michelle Baxter. So lots coming up. Jackson County Fair next week on. And, of course, we got more coming up here on Mix 96 FM. If the pandemic's taught us anything, it's that the easiest way for germs to get into your body.